Hello my darlings, Greta Garbage here, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a pair of fabulous custom nail gloves. Now, as a drag queen, I wear these gloves because I love having long, beautiful stiletto nails, but I hate wearing fake nails on my actual hands. So I either paint my real nails or wear these gloves with nails glued to them. Nowadays, every time I make an outfit, I go ahead and use the same fabric to make a pair of gloves. So I'm always matched, coordinated, and looking fierce AF. And I never have to fool with actually gluing anything to my hands. Over the years, I've developed a solid, reliable process to draft and sew these custom nail gloves. And now, dear heart, I'm going to pass it on to you! Bam! Just like that. That's all there is to it, Dustin. Here's what you'll need. Obviously, the first thing you'll need is some beautiful, gorgeous fabric. Next, you'll need drafting paper. This is just a roll of brown paper you can get in the office supply aisle at Walmart. It works perfectly for me, and I use it to draft all my patterns when I sew. You'll need fake nails. I ordered the longest, scariest stiletto nails I could find on Amazon, but any nails will do. If they're unpainted, make sure you have some polish for them. You'll need a marker. I prefer a dry erase, but you can use a Sharpie. You'll need scissors, pins, and masking tape. You'll need a really strong glue. I use Gorilla Glue, because I really want them suckers to stay on there. The final thing you will need is this pair of fake hands, which is technically for practicing nail art on, but it's the only way to get these nails properly glued on in the right spots. You can order these on Amazon for under $10. That was a lie. So let's get to drafting. The first step is to get your drafting paper and marker and make a good old fashioned hand turkey. <laughs> Be sure to give it a little extra room on the tracing because you want the gloves to fit well and it's easier to take something in than let it out. You want a little wiggle room in there. Once you've cut that out, fold your fabric over with the back facing out and pin your pattern to it. Now make another tracing onto the fabric. Take your pattern off and pin the fabric together again. Now it's time to sew. I use a straight stitch and put the length and width on the two setting because gloves need smaller, more intricate stitching. Sew right along that beautiful tracing you just made. You don't even have to cut the thread. Just lift the foot and turn the fabric when it's time to go in a different direction. After we're all stitched together, it's time to cut the extra fabric off and bingo bango, you have an exquisite custom glow. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's press on by pressing these nails to your sickening new pair of gloves. First, use your masking tape to hold your nails down while you give them a few coats of paint. Once they're dry, use your glue to attach them to the glove. Now, make sure you've pulled the fingers all the way down on the hands so you're getting the nails on in the right spots, and press them on firmly. Let that glue dry overnight, but check it after a few hours. You'll want to wait until the glue is set enough that it holds on to the glove, but you can pull the nail and fabric off the dummy so it doesn't get stuck to the finger while it's drying. And by God, you've done it! Ooh! All right! Bam! You have a pair of stunning nail gloves that you can wear with the matching outfit, or mix and match to create whatever look you want. That wasn't so hard, was it? Now go, my pretties, go to the bar and lip sync, model, cut up, and kiki with all your friends while they gag over your fabulous custom gloves. And don't forget to like and subscribe and check out all the other videos across my various channels. See you next time. Bye!